Hi there, this is the pseudo pin trap in the Nimzo Indian defense. And after d4, knight f6, c4, e6, white plays knight c3, trying to support an advance of the e pawn in the center with move e4. But black prevents the e pawns from getting to e4 by pinning the knight on c3. Queen c2, the classical system. And now black can strike himself at the center with c5. If white chooses to take and bishop takes, we've reached what is a book-heavy theoretical position in the Nimzo Indian. And this appears thousands of times in my limited database alone. White has several good options here, but must avoid the move bishop g5 like the plague. Well, perhaps that's a bit of an over-exaggeration since the plague in all its forms has killed millions of innocent lives whereas bishop g5 will just lose a game of chess. Still, some 46 players played this brazen mistake with no small number above 2000 ELO. The bishop now on g5 is pinning the knight on f6. But this pin is a relative pin and we've spoken about the drawbacks and the shortcomings of a relative pin since that knight can move. A move it does, but after black sacrifices on f2, with bishop takes f2 check, winning a pawn, since after king takes bishop, then knight g4 is check, and the queen will collect the bishop with a serious initiative and advantage for black. So this has been the pseudo pin trap in the Nimzo Indian defense. Thanks for watching. Bye.